gentlemen today? We are doing great. Great, great. to be here. Great. Carl, if you could start and tell us a little bit about the company and, and what you're involved yeah. in. Happy to. So at Verif, we are building infrastructure for trust online. We allow any website and mobile application to match the person with a government-issued ID. As trust is increasingly more important topic when we are moving online, then we also know that in order to trust, you have to verify. As we've reached the point of the internet that we assume that things are not true unless proven by a reliable source. But very started actually over nine years ago back in Estonia and uh, eventually uh, we think global from day one because our ambition was bigger to verify every single Estonian twice a day. So that's the reason why we have Abe on board running all of our US business. Yeah. Abe, please. Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Abe. I run the US business for Verif. Been here about five years um, and we've been here for about nine years since Carl helped found the company. So. It's been really exciting uh, as the world changes, as most businesses, if not all, move online and digital fraud becomes more and more rampant and complicated. Uh, we take a lot of pride in making the internet a safer place and giving you access to the services you need, no matter who you are and what they are, whether it's trying to catch a ride in a new city, uh, maybe opening a, your first bank account or uh, moving to a new country. Um, we work directly with some of the most amazing companies in the world, issuing authorities, local and state governments, you name it. Um, we, you know, it feels really good to work somewhere where we are looking to make the world a safer and better place online. Well, it, you know, Estonia has been responsible for some really great tech in, over the last bunch of years. Yeah. And you guys are clearly at the front of that. You know, and verification is something that everyone goes through. What are the challenges that you've had in bringing this product to the market? Yeah, so I can start and then Carl can, being an Estonian, really uh, build on that. But um, you're right, Estonia has the most unicorns per capita of any country in the world. A good example, uh, Raul, our head of product, who's here, our founding CTO, we're really involved in the founding engineering team at Skype, um, which became a, a legendary company, of course, and, and was acquired by Microsoft. And a great example of how that impacts Verif is those guys came in, you know, after Carl started the company and said, hey, maybe video is a really good tool we can use to not only help people connect like we did at Skype, but actually make the Internet a better place and make it safer without putting honest folks like us through the ringer, you know, at every moment that we need to be verified. We take a lot of pride in balance and making it as easy as possible for honest people to onboard without letting any fraud through. And, Video and a lot of the other tools uh, that Estonia has brought to market globally have been a really important part of our story and, and our success. In terms of um, the way we built Verif, it's been like replacing the positioning from three pictures alone into a thousand different data points. So instead of three pictures, you have a video from the beginning till the end and you have an ability to leverage so much more data points to always drive accurate and objective decisions at scale. So what we are working mainly is to support all of, our, all of the companies to answer all of their three questions when they are onboarding new people. First one, are you really who you claim to be? And this is like the first one we gotta make sure is A is A or Karel is Karel. Right. But it's not enough. You also wanna know like, yeah, if one of them comes with a higher risk of fraud or is becoming a high chance of becoming a high value customer of theirs or additional affirmations that enable us to sense the trustworthiness of the person. And uh, third thing is always making sure that the same person is behind this specific account. And this is where the authentication comes into play. And very is uniquely positioned to answer them all for our customers and when others in the verification space treat each verification as the first one they, they see, then we are actually getting better with every single company, every single verification, joining our network to make internet a safer place. Well, that's really interesting and the use of video sounds quite unique and innovative to me. You know, and, and certainly I can understand, you know, the application now that you've explained it, but how do you get this? out to market and, and get people to realize that, that you have a better way. 
I think the identity market in an interesting way has been quite a noisy because there's been a very broad definitions for identity and identity has been defined by very many different means how to do it. Uh, and I think the latest developments in AI has been actually very good to set stronger clarity. Right. What does real verification mean? And this is the part where there's so much tools in the hands of amateurs can, that can easily change the faces on their IDs or ramp up some uh, pictures. And this is actually what has shown now on the identity market space that that the tide has gone out and you can see who has been swimming naked. And this is where we believe that the more sophistication video is key to drive accurate verifications at the age of AI. Yeah. yeah, I mean, um, it's a great question. And, you know, having been here since the inception of our, our U.S. business, um, it's been really critical to differentiate us in a very honest and proactive way. It's no secret that the identity market is incredibly saturated. I mean, look maybe 30 feet around us. We've got one, yeah. two, probably a couple more looking behind us. So. Yeah. It's an incredibly saturated space and the key to remember for us, for our customers, our partners, our competitors, is we're all fighting the same common enemy. And at the end of the day, while we're all running a business and we're all trying to be profitable and we all want to make money, we are all fighting the same enemy, which is fraud. And I have and will continue to challenge the partners and, and competitors we have in our space to find ways to work together and to find ways to share data on our common enemies that allow us to run our own distinct and healthy businesses without challenging each other to the extent that we actually lose sight of all of our common mission, which is to make the internet a safer place. And I don't think that's easy. I don't mean to oversimplify it, but I think it's really important. And I would say over the past maybe year or two, uh, we've seen that become kind of more and more commonplace um, in the industry. and especially through the clients that have a multi-vendor strategy or are really big players in certain industries, fintech, mobility, marketplaces, that's what they want. And it doesn't mean that our business has to shrink. It just means that we have to find new ways to grow together. But I tell you, Abe, you mentioned a lot of really key things there. And you just think deep, get a little bit deeper in it. You know, when you talk about these partnerships, I mean, fraud is the enemy of everyone. There's no mm -hmm. doubt. And I think a lot of times that people that perpetuate the fraud can take advantage of the fact that there's not a lot of overlap. Exactly. That, you know, there's different technologies being used and people, they, you know, they're looking for cracks, right? Yeah. So that was really interesting. And you brought up a lot of really key points. And you, to me, one of the things that we see out there is that the fraudsters, they're able to collaborate much better than the people trying to do good like yourselves. And they're looking for those cracks between technologies, between systems. How do you go about looking to protect us better? Yeah, absolutely. And and I want to hear Carl's perspective on the product side as well, because that's his bread and butter. But from kind of our interactions with our clients and our partners, you're exactly right. Fraudsters talk to each other a lot. We literally see it in the videos that we process. And sometimes we see a big stack of fake IDs on someone's desk or the actual tabs of of companies open on a browser that they're going to try to hit next, right? And like I mentioned before, it's a very saturated space with lots of suppliers fighting the same enemy in this way. Um, the future of identity, as I think we all see it, is a more tokenized and kind of universal database and marketplace almost where, you know, within Verif, of course, if you try to defraud one of our partners and go to another one, it's rather easy for us to detect. What we all want to see is someone who tries to commit fraud in one corner of the world and then goes to the completely opposite side of the spectrum. And we can all work together and build that economy of scale that looks at not just the identity of someone, but the patterns, the network and devices, the fingerprints on the technical backends and, and creates this kind of database of scale that we can all dip into and we can all use in our own unique ways because every business has different needs. And while we see consolidation, there will always be unique aspects of each individual provider that are very valuable. 
Um, but Carl is very well versed in leading our, our product sector and, and can talk more about how we incorporate that into our tangible product. Yes, and when we are thinking about uh, usage of data and external signals that help us to strengthen the identity, then it's also important to keep in mind that as long as companies have the right and financial sector obligation to choose their customers, all the businesses have a different risk appetite and needs when it comes to an identity as well. And this is very important that beyond also our trust score that we are building, we keep on working together as a sector to keep on adding different uh, signals that enable us to figure out the right set of uh, friction and fraud prevention to different use cases at need. And this is also important that enables us to better make identity verification to go mainstream as a result. Overall, at Verif, we are like excited to keep on fighting every verification at a time to make an internet a safe place because we truly believe once we scale, then every person on this planet could be using a ferry. And this is what uh, we are up to, to really facilitate trust and make trust reliable and scalable online. But I tell you, if you can reach some of that scalability, it'd be pretty amazing. You know, Verify, you guys are, are doing some really interesting things. Why did you choose to come to Money 2020? Like, number one thing is that uh, identity verification market is driven by the compliance requirement together with right. an ability that companies also need to verify their users to build up trust. And a big part of the regulatory compliance for verification comes from financial services. So fintechs are the, are the oldest players of IDV online right, right. Uh, with their ability to perform. Well, you know, Money 2020 is a great event. We're really glad that you're here. Can you give me a little bit peek into the future for Verify, for the industry? Please, Abe, hit me with something good. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you know, we love Money 2020. Um, and thank you to the organizers. It's an incredible event to pull off um, in such a big place and an awesome city. Um, one of the reasons we love it, and, and this goes along with the future, um, is, you know, it's in the name, right? Money 2020 is, it started in my experience, banks, fintechs, financial services, where there's a transaction or a flow of money, you're here. Um, what's fascinating is to see the diversity of companies that are here now. You know, typically years ago, we would come here and it was really generally focused on fintechs, transactions, peer to peer, crypto, banks, financial services, now you have mobility companies, education companies, social media, gambling, video games. I think it's so, it's such a microscopic view on how important the security of money and transactions is in the world and uh, where the regulations are going as well. You know, Verif, we operate in KYC AML. Most companies that work with us are, are legally obligated to buy it from someone. The question is who they're going to buy it from. That was banks, that was fintechs, that was marketplaces. Now it's social media companies. It's if you want to rent a scooter or maybe rent a house in a new city, whatever it is. And just by seeing the evolution of the attendees and the sponsors at this show, you can understand where the regulatory frameworks and uh, where the tools are going to go in the future. So it's great to connect with folks we already know. And it's also great to meet new people and understand why they're here and, and why it's important to them to be here. Well, if you could just give us a little peek from the product side of what the future might hold. So the future that excites us the most is that today we leverage a lot about government issued IDs to verify people. And I have to admit this is today the best source to compliantly verify our identities. But um, I also think that our identities are so much more complex than a paper saying that your son of your parents born in this country as a first level of verification provided by the government. So the passport is something where is a good global standard, but still some countries are more equal than others if you think about the accesses and travel it enables. 
So what we are excited is that within our identity network to keep on working towards strengthening the identities and really making sure that we can leverage more feedback that you've been a good actor at so many different places and move towards the world that uh, the new passport will be issued by Veriv, not only by the governments, to enable equal access to people uh, services globally. Well, great. I, I tell you, the, the little peek into the future is really exciting. Verif is at the cutting edge of a very important area, which is stopping fraud. We're really pleased to have some time that, to spend with both of you. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. Chris Prince, Financial IT. Thank you.